one day I'm not gonna be so nice, you know, I'm very forgiving, but I have my limit. And when I get to my limit, it's not good. <laughs> so Welcome, welcome back to Night Light Tower. My name is Holly. So grateful to have you all. Let's get into this reading. Um, I'm doing a Harry Styles update. I'm done with 2023 predictions. Uh, moving forward, I'm gonna keep continuing to bring updates, introduce new videos, and so forth and so forth. I'm going live once a week. I did have an explanation for why I've slowed down the videos. I'll bring in longer videos every day. I'm going back to that because my health <laughs> is not agreeing with me doing as many videos and I have to listen to my body as much as I love you all. Please like, subscribe, comment if you're interested in becoming a member. It's really, really worth it. It's $4.99 a month. You get early access to videos. You get one video a week just for members, which is really exciting. And also you get a um, chance to win a free tower reading with me uh, when you comment on a video so let's get into this reading um, I've been as some of you Harry people know almost a hundred percent accurate about Harry Styles the direction of his career him breaking up with Olivia I move my microphone closer and so much of it now I just want to put out there that I really feel like Harry just about to hit the precipice of his career you know um i can't remember i can never remember how old he is i'm the worst of age even when people ask me my age i'm like how old am i again <laughs> so it's like i'm the worst of age i think after 25 i just stopped counting my age but anyways i strongly feel like um he is about to hit his peak in Korea and I have said this and it's already started Olivia is going to start with her victim campaign blaming Harry and let's see how it's going to affect him because I did see him retaliating in a song getting to that point you know Aquarius I'm standing in Aquarius too <clears throat> when we've had enough of somebody I've gotten better with it over time now I warn people, but I'm like, you know, one day I'm not going to be so nice. You know, I'm very forgiving, but I have my limit. And when I get to my limit, it's not good. <laughs> so, because we either cut you out of our lives, completely cold turkey, or we'll let you know how we feel. And when we let you know how you feel, you'll, you'll be left like, oh my gosh, what just happened? <laughs> you know, because we'll, we'll rip you to shreds. So it's six of wands, ten of cups, and five of wands. Okay, so I have a strong feeling here that he has met somebody. Interesting. He has met somebody, and it's someone that he's been publicly seen with. I did say that I saw him dating his market, like somebody in his team, like a brand manager, some kind of manager, and this might be her. But she's helping him overcome some of his demons. And I think something about him, he's a very interesting person. You know, when you look at him facially, he's not that attractive. But he's attractive, you know. Which is very interesting. He's not my type, but he is attractive. And he has this, like, I think it's that Aquarius. Okay, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. But Aquarius, we often have this, like, um... <sighs> people can't really... We have a mystery about us that makes it look attractive. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how that, if that explains it properly. So, with King of Wands, I see very strongly here. You know, he might have... I haven't... I don't remember his full chart. I remember he's a double Aquarius and Libra rising. But... No, he's a double Libra, excuse me, and Sun and Aquarius. But he's going to access his fire side. I think he's... his. Venus is in a fire sign. 
can't remember that. If you can write in the comments, if anybody remembers, write in the comments section. <clears throat> I believe his Venus is in a fire sign. And he's going to access this to go forward with this person with the full card. Because this person, this woman that I see, he really wants to be with. But he wants to be careful. Interesting. <clears throat> oh my gosh. The card that just fell on the floor is the lover's card. How interesting is that? Whew. So, let's see. He definitely feels love for her. Mm. Oh my cards keep falling out. You know, I think he feels like it's destined. It's like meant to be. Interesting. Very, very interesting. The moon, eight of ones, page of ones. Yeah, he feels like it's meant to be. And... Actually, it's exciting, but it's weird because it's happening so fast. And that's how... I always say this, Sun and Aquarius, and you know, I can relate to him so much because we, Sun and Aquarius, were very different, but we're the same, you know? Like, I used to jump into relationships, jump into everything really, really fast. And then I was like, hold on a second, I don't want to be here anymore. And that was what he does too. We love when we love, and sometimes it takes a while for us to like really love, but when we love, we love with our whole heart. You know, with the sun and eight of pentacles. He's planning on being with her. I see them going off safaris. I see them. So this year, in the next few months, get ready to see pictures of them on safaris, um, doing charity work. Because, you know, of course, that's our thing. We love to be charitable. We love to do, like, humanitarian stuff. And he's going to be with somebody that finally sees that aspect of him and it wants him to embrace it and to share it with the world so that's what i have for you all i love you all thank you so much for watching i would love to have to say please be respectful